Hello, it's me, Monkey Nuts, here for part 17 of Crash Bandicoot Insane Tr Trilogy Crash number 2. Now, in this video, I'm continuing on from part 16 after I've defeated Engine. I'm just going to go back. It's going to be a short stream ish, depending on how things go. Um, I'm also going to go back through Warp Room 4 and just collect the missing gems. So, there are two missing gems from Digging dig It, which is a Death Fruit gem and Box gem. The box uh, gem from Cold Hard Crash and the box gem from Ruination. Um, and I will also be showing you how to get the 99 lives easy. Um, obviously, you'll see me getting it at the same time. And I will probably also do. Bear with me, I'm just going to go out. You'll still hear me, but you won't see anything on the screen. Um, I'm also going to get, I just need to find what the trophy is called, Boom Shakalaka, which is defeat five enemy enemies with Coco's double leg jump, which I believe is just a crashes body slam, but with Coco, so it's just a, an X in a circle, so jump and X, I believe, anyway. We'll test that out. Um, probably, I'll do it now, don't mean to press that button, but as you can see, 96 lives because I was doing it in my own time, just rinse and repeat it. So you can, it's easily, it's easy to get them. So once you get to be a hive, and so I'll show you these two trophies now before I move on to do the gems. So once you get to warp room four, go into the level B hive. Now you can do this on any of the hives or, or certain hives, um, the ones that produce a mass of bees. Um, but the one that I showed you on my previous video in part 16, um, it's, that's the easier one because there's a checkpoint there. So if you do mess up and die, your checkpoint is right, uh, is close to it. Because if you die here, well, I'm going to show you, you have to keep going back to the start and fight all these dudes. So I believe, I'm guessing that because it looks like a double leg jump. So I'm going to try to do that whilst here so on these screws. So, one. Okay, so just all you have to do is just keep doing this over and over again. Um, not like that. So once you see the first one pop up, just slide and spin into it, and you'll keep getting lives like so. And there you go. That's me with 99 lives. 99 percent. Yeah, perception is the trophy. It's what the trophy's called for getting 99 lives. So that is how you do that. Now I'm just going to go through this level quickly. Even though I've I'm just going to go through it quickly um, and try and do shit. Actually, do you know what? There's a better level I can do it on. So I'm just going to quit this level. Actually, I'm going to do see if it works anyway. See if I can get this out of the way. I don't think you can. So, instead of doing the Koku trophy on that level, we're doing it on a different level so we can get somewhere with it. Um, it might be an easier level to do it on. There's probably easier levels than the one I'm going to show you on, uh, but I'm just going to do it on this one because I'm here and get things done quicker. So, Coco on digging it. Now digging it has a death root, so it also has a clear gem at the end of the death root, and you also need the death root for the boxes as well. It's a quite a hard one ish. There are harder ones. Um to do. Like the next one that I'll show you after this next one. Basically, get this. No. One.
And there you go, Boom Shakalaka. So yes, jump and that. For five enemies is you get the Boom Shakalaka. But you have to have, obviously have Coco. Like I said, and that's that trophy. Now, continuing on, I'm going to go and try and get the box trophies. And bear with me one second. Sorry, I had a sneeze coming. So, shit. Didn't need to do that. So you need to get to a certain point in the level to get the death route for this one. And then go through it. Also to try and get a clear gem and then... Okay, so there's a little metal platform up here, but it only has a life on it, so you don't have to worry about it too much. It doesn't have any boxes up there, so you don't have to worry about that. That'll be all of them off to the night just when you find the story. So at this point you should have 43 boxes left if I've got everything right so far. And then the death route's there so I'm just going to get these two boxes here. Just going to come back here. Because I don't want to die. And let's jump in the death route. See now this is where I kind of need an echo, echo. Okay, maybe not. Shit. As soon as I jump, I know that's gonna happen. I'm going to go through death again. Just make sure you click these two because it's easier uh, to have to go all the way back um, when you come you have to come back this way, towards this way anyway, um, after the death route.
Oh, I've done it again. Too close to the edge, and I'm just doing it. Right, for now, I'm just going to cut out talking just don't hear me anything. But I'll be back to talk when needed.
So at the end of the death route, obviously there's a clear gem, and you should have 56 boxes. Everything right. Now, at this point you can get this checkpoint, to make it easy, so I don't have to go through that last bit of the death route again. I'm just going to leave it because I have a bad feeling about things, um, because otherwise there's a checkpoint further down this way, and then you have to work all the way back, then forward again. So I'm just going to leave that checkpoint there for now, um, for when I'm on my way back, because there's still more to go after this. So, yes, now. Okay, just work your way back down this way. Now you've got to be careful, there's jumps, there's speeds, there's... Everything, really. So, use this to your advantage. Get rid of these to make it easier on the way back. Listen out for the bees as well. And there's a checkpoint there. And then once you get to this point, so once you get to the metal bouncy box bit, um, that is where you can turn back around if you've collected the other two um, boxes before you went down to the death route that I showed you. So, make our way back. can get tricky because you don't want to die but you have to make your way all the way down there so this is why it makes it easier if you destroy the uh, spitting enemies And then you come all the way back here, and this is why I said if you feel like you would die further on up here, then get that checkpoint, for sure. Okay, and that's that, and then you can just watch the rest without me talking over it. Enjoy. Exactly why I decided to use the checkpoint because otherwise I have to go all the way back that way and walk back, back my way back up. And I wasn't concentrating. Now the spitting um, enemy on the platform there, as shown in part six, is where there is a secret exit, so you get trophy for that. Fuck's sake! Uh, secret exit, so you get trophy for that and. Um, Entrance to Road Ruins. Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking for a bit.
I'll now show you the Rotorun box gem because I know Cold Hard Crash is going to be a hard one to do the box gem on because you have to get to death route, go through the death route, then back. It's a lot harder than digging it where you can just carry on and walk your way back on the easy way. This one you have to go, you'll see when I play it. And Road to Ruin, Runation, blah blah blah. Runation is easier than after I just died. Um, so yes, I'll let you watch and enjoy. I believe there's no secret exits or paths. Um, obviously there's the gem path, found the green gem, but that will lead to a clear gem at the end. But then it will miss a big portion of the area out where you'll miss most of the uh, boxes. So let's do this.
So this is the point where the green gem, if you take the green gem path to get the clear gem through that one, this is where it'll bring you to, so you obviously miss a good portion out of that. Um, I mean, you could probably go back and try and get all the boxes that way, but it would be quite difficult, but I don't need to now. So that's right. Now. And at this point, we should have all of them. Yes, and there we go. So that's how you get all the boxes. Just go collect the gem, and then we'll go on to Cold Hard Crash. Get all the boxes for that one, and they'll go from there.
Now, we have to go back this way to get boxes, as you can see, because there's one missing here. Now, there's, as you can see, I always miss these boxes. Simple fact is, I can't see above those two sets of boxes. So if there's a row of missing ones, and once you get them, if you knock these down, they might not drop down. Where if you leave them, once you hit the metal crate, they might appear, and when you hit them, they'll drop down with the other ones as well. So just be careful there.
So if everything goes right, and if I am right as well, you should, after the death route, have 95 boxes in your inventory. That's a nice inventory, but in your little collection. So yeah, it's quite hard. It is a lot easier if you have um, the gold Aku Aku, so that when you, so you can get the invincible one later on and just literally blast through those nitro things so that your journey on the way back is a lot easier. So a little tip there for you if you are trying to do it. It is easy to have that, obviously it is possible to do it about, but a lot harder. Um, as you can see I was having a lot of difficulty with it. We finally got through it in the end, so I'm happy either way.
So if everything's right, I sh you should at this point for your job down have 133 boxes there. Now obviously that might be I thought about that. If you have or haven't destroyed some nitrous boxes with an Akuaku, then that might be um, it might, it might be less. So 150 at this point, I can see it's one, two, and there's five boxes, so that is all correct. Again, once you drop down, that'll be more or less, depending on if you've destroyed any nitrous boxes from that lacking. So there you go. And now that should be warp room four, a hundred percent complete with all the gems, crystal, and everything. Okay, just doing a quick check, make sure warp room four is complete, and it is. Um, and obviously the two tro trophies that I showed you for the one for Coco and the 99 lives one now I'm gonna end the stream here my next stream I'll be moving up to warp room 5 the last warp room collecting everything in that one and the secret uh, warp room I'll wait till after the stand and ending that I show you because there are two gems I'll show you now quickly um, there are two gems uh, that are related to their own separate levels through different exits, but I'll explain that when I get to it. Obviously, they are in different parts of my videos where I've explained it and showed you how to get them, but I'll explain it in more detail and fully in the stream when I come to these. So it's just these two. They're the separate levels. Obviously, these three are linked, but these two go through a secret exit in different levels. Gives you extra two levels that don't link to anything else. But that's about except for room four. But yes, for now, I will love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. Hope it's helped. Hope you've enjoyed it. And as I said, next part is on to Warp Room 5. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.